right, guys, I actually remembered today. Sunday brunch, we got some eggs, bacon, and bagels today. <laughs> Gavin looks like he's ready for summer. So I got Gavin this ice cream to try, just like a little tiny pint, or I think this is a pint, right? Yeah, um, it's Sour Patch Kids ice cream. So it has vanilla light ice cream and lemon sorbet with a red berry swirl and original Sour Patch Kids. Now, pretty much everyone in this family loves Sour Patch Kids, so I'm very curious how this is gonna taste. Now Gavin's gonna be our, our first taste tester. Why do you have your hood on again? Uh, Especially with your nice haircut. Everyone's been complimenting it, by the way. <laughs> oh, that was softer than I thought it was. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. Okay, look at that swirly center. Oh. This is gonna be the new- That looks interesting. <laughs> this is gonna be the new <laughs> official Sour Patch tasting channel. Okay, let's see. <laughs> do you taste it's the true. Sour Patch Kids though, or does it just taste like ice cream? It's like a sour, it's like a sour uh, sherbet ice cream. Oh, okay. Not really a lot of chunks in there, like the it Sour tastes, Patch Kids? It tastes almost exactly like the, the, yellow, uh, the yellow ice cream at Disneyland. Oh, that's good. That's oh, very good. Dole Whip sour. with a little more sour, okay. So out of five, what do you give it? 4.73. Wow, very specific. Okay. okay, apparently I'm gonna try it. Um, shout out to Karen and Lauren, because I'm wearing the shirt they gave me when we went on our girls trip. All right, mm, smells lemony. Lucy is going crazy, because apparently she wants some. Okay. Mm. See what I mean? Like the, the lemon like ice lemon cream. Sherbet to me. Tastes like the lemon ice cream, but slightly more sour. I didn't get any Sour Patch Kid chunks. So Lucy, what do you think about the it's ice cream? Though. It's good though. No, Lucy, dark. stop licking. What do you think about the ice cream? She's like, I ain't getting it yet. I see. <laughs> okay, review, out of five. I give it a four. Four? Yeah, pretty good. Not a 4.73 though. No. Sorry, Sour Patch Kids, you don't make the cut. <laughs> All right. It's decent though. Next time on the official Sour Patch Review channel. Good morning, you guys. I'm on my way to the photo shoot. We're gonna be doing it outdoors this time around. I have a really pretty dress on. I love it so much. It's from Red Dress Boutique and I've got my hair and makeup done. I wanted to wear fake lashes today, but I just didn't have time. So I got my dress back, other dress back there. Got some coffee and flowers. <laughs> to accent the photo shoot. I actually have some things in mind. So yeah, I know it's gonna go great because Denise is amazing. So I, of course, will be sharing the photos on Instagram. So if you don't already follow me, make sure you go follow me. So I just finished the photo shoot and it just started drizzling a little bit, but I think it's already done. Arizona has the weirdest like rain, <laughs> sunny rain showers. But, oh my gosh, we had so much fun in downtown Gilbert filming in a few, or I'm um, taking a few photos in a few awesome places. There's so much to do and see. All right, sneak peek of the second outfit. I have these earrings on. These came in that set um, from Amazon. Aren't they so fun in springtime-like? And then oh, this dress on from Red Dress Boutique. Got my flowers and my tea over there. Um, this is like my new favorite thing to get at Starbucks now for springtime. It is a green tea, green tea and peach infused. So I'm home now. I totally forgot to share this adorable mug with you guys that we found at Home Goods last week when we were on our date night, Chris and I, and we went to Home Goods and walked around. So this is from the brand Strawberry Street, who makes these same bunnies right here. By the way, those of you that follow me on Instagram, I asked, like, should I put bow, a bow on both of the guys? And most of you were like, yes, to, to putting it on both the bunnies. So aren't they so freaking cute? But anyways, I just adore them. I love their little heart noses and everything. And so when I saw this mug, there is a little miniature baby bunny inside of your cup. And it says hip, hip, hooray. And it's a beautiful light pink. It's 
like the perfect Easter mug. It's so freaking cute. Um, it was like $4.99, I think, and Chris actually got it for me, and I just love it. So I just thought I'd I'd share that with you too. By the way, my hutch is pretty much complete. I got these eggs from Michael's, and then there's a little bunny that is from Hobby Lobby, the little bunny, wood bunny in there. And then I have this carrot garland that I found at Home Goods. quickly show you each level so I definitely want to find like some kind of little carrot topiary topiary or something to put right next to the bunnies up there I think that would be super cute but so far I haven't found anything that I really like I might just have to create one of my own like those little carrots that I have there um, I think they'd be cute in like a vase or something up there. So I'm going to work on doing something like that. Otherwise, this is my hutch. And then here are the mugs over here and this little garland with the bunnies and the carrots. So I got these beautiful real tulips today at my grocery store. They're so beautiful. But I just have to say that these fake tulips from Amazon look pretty dang close to the real ones. Don't you guys think? I mean, there's nothing like fresh flowers, don't get me wrong. But if you need some florals in your home and you you know don't want to have to keep buying them, these are so good. I actually got Mama Bee some in red, so I'll share those with you soon. But yeah, I love how they look. Hey guys, I have a couple minutes here before I have to go to the dentist with Gavin in a little bit. I have to pick him up from school. So I thought I would go over a few items I got in the mail last week and this week so far. And I cannot wait to try these so I don't want to forget to show you. So first L'Oreal sent me a package of brand new mascara that came out. This is called the Bambi Eye Mascara. And what's so cute about that is that Mama B, her nickname is Bambi between my stepdad and her. So I just thought of her instantly when I saw this. And it's supposed to have a wide opened eye look, instant eye opening volumizing mascara. They gave me a waterproof and a regular, and this is in the blackest black. So I cannot wait to try this out. It looks like it is more of a plastic bristle wand. They show it right here. Um, those are hit and miss with me. So we'll see if that, if I really like it. And then I have been loving my earrings that I showed you guys last week that I just got in. This is another pair from that Amazon set of 16. And then I wore these today in the photo shoot that are also a part of the set of 16. Um, but I also got these. I was definitely influenced by someone on Instagram. There's been a couple girls that I follow on Instagram that have spoke about these. And I ordered them like two weeks ago and they finally came in and they're like the Gucci inspired little pearl studs, which would look super cute with this outfit actually. So I think they're like five bucks, maybe less. So I'll make sure to link them down below for you guys. Actually really nice quality, you know, for what they are, for how much they were. Um, I will say though, the backs of them were a little bent. They didn't break off though. So I hope that they'll be okay, but they weren't, they were bent in shipping. So we'll see how those turn out. Okay. I, I also am really excited to try this out. So this is a new brand to me, Viviscal Advanced Hair Health. So they actually sent me some products to help with my thinning hair. Um, I'm also going to get PRP treatment on my scalp, which is platelet rich plasma treatments. Um, my doctor that I work for does them. And I think that that would really help stimulate the growth in my scalp because I am getting some areas in the front here and you can see it right there. Um, where I'm losing hair and it's not growing back no matter what I do. I haven't dyed my hair in years that hasn't helped it. So I'm trying a few things and I will get back to you guys. Maybe I'll do even a whole video on my thinning hair and what I'm doing to help promote growth. Uh, so I will definitely let you guys know what I think ends up working for me. So these are the 
dietary supplement. There's a three month supply in here and it says nourishes thinning hair and promotes existing hair growth. And there's no drugs in this. Like it's not a chemical compound. It's all like natural vitamins. So it says vitamin C, nioxin, biotin, calcium, iron, zinc, amino mar, marine complex. I'm not sure what that is. Oh gosh. I don't know about that. Horsetail, horsetail extract and millet seed extract. Well, this is definitely not a vegan tablet. <laughs> so I will let you guys know if it works. Awesome. So we'll see. And they also sent me their gorgeous growth densifying conditioner and shampoo. So I'm actually at it. I just almost finished my Kerastase that I love so much, my shampoo. So I'm going to start using this. It says blended with biotin, keratin, and zinc to promote healthy looking hair. So in the past, I have worked with Jord watches, which are these amazing wood watches. I've talked about them quite a bit here on my channel. I actually need to take a link out of my watch. Um, I've talked about them a lot on my channel. They're super durable. They're so unique and cool looking. I've gotten one for my stepdad, for my brother, for Christmas presents or Father's Day presents. Um, I would love to get one for Chris, but he can't wear watches. Um, he's like allergic to metal. But anyways, they're amazing quality and I still love their watches. They're constantly coming out with new styles. So I will link my style down below for you guys if you're curious, but it has like a really beautiful rose gold face and rose gold metal, de metal details with the wood. So now they have come out with handbags and these are amazing quality, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So this is the Binka um, backpack. And doesn't this look like cork? It's so crazy. I love it. And it has like gold. It almost looks like gold feathered like leaf in between too. Gold metal hardware. Um, I love that the backpack like straps here have some metal detail on the ends. I think that's just a really nice touch. They're adjustable, of course. This is in the natural like tan color, but they also have it in a few other colors, including black. And I love that this front pouch is right here because it fits my phone perfectly. I'm filming on my phone right now or I would show you, but it fits my, um, I have the iPhone X Max and it fits perfectly inside the front flap. And then inside it fits so much, as you can see, it's pretty um, wide. And they do have some really cute clutches too and like smaller bags, but I love this. So there's like one big pocket on the back and then another pocket on the side that's more of like a um, an envelope and the other one has a zipper. And I fit a lot in this. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have quite a bit inside of there. So, and it's a really nice material inside too. It's like a suede, really nice. Um, this is vegan leather as well, so you don't have to worry about that. The material that looks like cork right outside here with that gold kind of leaf looking detail. Um, it's called Super Hide and it's vegan leather infused with Portuguese cork and it's super durable, water resistant. Um, you can clean it off, it's stain resistant. Um, you can just clean it with some soap and water and it comes right off. So I am really excited about that because then I don't have to be as careful with my bag. I always am though. Like I treat my my purses and my wallets like gold and my jewelry because I want it to last forever and ever, especially when it is a big investment um, or like a more luxury item, if you know what I mean. So definitely love this bag and can't wait to keep using it. Um, and I love that it's a backpack because my bags get pretty heavy. Um, I stuff them, I stuff them full. So it's easier to carry this, you know, as a backpack. And I will link everything down below. I'm not sure if I still have a discount code, I used to. So I'll make sure to link it below if I do. Um, when I worked with them before I had one. Also, it comes in this really nice protective little satchel too, so that you can, um, you know, little dust bag so you can have that's to store your bag in as well. Totally forgot to share with you guys this adorable pixie package that was sent to me. Looks like little milk cartons. Isn't that so cute? Little milk cartons, I love it. So there are six steps. So we have hydrating, milky makeup remover. 
then a milky cleanser, a peel for exfoliating. Then we've got toner, it's milky tonic balance and comfort, um, a serum, and then a lotion slash moisturizer. I don't even want to unbox these because it's so freaking cute, but I will, and I will um, share this with you guys as I try them. Honestly, though, there is nothing better than having fresh flowers in the house. Look how beautiful those tulips are. And then I have these flowers over here. So pretty. All right, it is past my fasting hour, and I am pretty much starving. So I'm gonna try one of the flavors I haven't tried yet of my Bilt Bars. The This flavor is the peanut butter brownie and I have heard amazing, amazing things and I'm just craving, I don't know, just sweets today. So this is perfect. It smells, it smells like C's candy. Has anyone had C's candy? It smells like something from C's candy. Okay, enough talking, let's, let's taste this bad boy. Oh my goodness. Look how chocolatey that is. That is thick. It really tastes like a brownie. It's a different consistency than the regular Built Bars. Wow, this is so good. I think I'm only gonna eat half because this is like the perfect after dinner treat. because it really tastes like a brownie. And it's like much richer than I'm used to with the Built Bars because it's like chocolate on chocolate. Really tasty though. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday and I just wanted to come on here and say hello and also show you how cute these earrings are. I'm so happy they finally came in from Amazon. They look like Gucci, but they're not. They're inspired, inspired earrings. Then I have one of my headbands on that I love with little pearls, thought that it went well with it. I recurled my hair a little bit because the hairspray I used yesterday was not cut in it. It did not hold my curls. Even though I just washed my hair yesterday, it was kind of annoying. On my lips, I have faux, F-A-U-X, faux from MAC. Um, I've been trying to wear some of my MAC lipsticks again because they do go bad eventually and I love them so much. Um, yeah, I'm just a lipstick hoarder, so I could literally use a different lipstick every single day for the entire year, most likely. Um, this dress I got a long time ago at Dillard's, I think, in the juniors department, but I just felt like dressing a little nicer for work today. So just wanted to say a quick hi and show you the earrings especially. Mr. Darcy got a haircut. Come here. Come here. Hi you guys, it's Friday and I really liked my makeup today so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I did, I'm gonna turn down the light a little bit so you can see it a little better. Um, it might not really come off that apparent that I did anything super different, but I did kind of contour a little different um, and highlight a little different. I don't know, I really like it. Um, I did kind of do more on my nose area too. So if it looks like my nose looks different, that's why. <laughs> um, my lips, I have Beach Babe from Tarte, Amazonian clay lipsticks, and then a little bit of, um, there's a MAC lips, lip gloss, hold on. Is this lip gloss here in, I use it all the time, Flare for Finery. I'm almost, I'm kind of nearing the end of it. By the way, these headbands, I've been using them. They're really cute. They're like knotted right here. Um, I've been using them to kind of pull back my hair when I'm doing my makeup. I have my hair like all crazy back here. Um, but they came in a set of six. Um, the company actually reached out to me. They're from Amazon. Um, and I've been using them a lot to just kind of pull back my little baby hairs and everything. So when I'm doing my makeup, nothing gets kind of caught in the middle, but I think they're super cute to wear out too. I think I'm going to wear one today when I put my hair up. 
Let me open this so I can show you all the cute colors. Oh my gosh, by the way, the these leggings are so freaking soft and amazing. They're from Target. Oh man, what is that brand called? Anyways, not what I was talking about. I'm talking about the headbands. <laughs> Look, so they kind of like wrapped them, intertwined them like that. So then when you put it on your head, it has like a little different detail to it, you know? I love this one with the little hearts and swans and pink. And then there's this black, excuse me, brown and white one. This one's not my favorite. It's a little too crazy of colors for me. This is one that I would just leave here in my makeup area to use while I'm doing my makeup. Um, the one I have on currently, I also was not a fan of the pattern too much, so it was more for, um, you know, washing my face, doing my makeup, pulling my hair back and inside the house rather than fashion, but these few, the pink one too that just fell, these four that come in the set, I definitely will wear fashion-wise. I especially love the black and white polka dot. And this one here too has more of like a tropical flower vibe. Aren't those fun? And the fabrics are really nice. This one's a little more silky as is this one, whereas this one's more of like that textured fabric. And same, this one is also kind of in the middle like silky and a little bit textured but really nice quality and they have that stretchy band in the back um i don't feel like they hurt my head at all either which is nice and yeah just thought i'd share those with you hi honeybees melissa turned me on to these great built bars i absolutely love them this new flavor is the banana nut bread if you like banana nut bread get these they are so delicious. Mm. I feel like I'm cheating. Mm. So Chris has a birthday. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is that? Chris has a birthday dessert coupon at Olive Garden. So, you know, I had to sacrifice and come here. No, secretly, I freaking love Olive Garden. <laughs> but he got stuffed shells that look freaking amazing and of course I had to get a, a very very cheap meal and some get some fettuccine we just had salad too hey guys we just went to Sonic and got some well I got Diet Coke and Cherry we got other things but I have Lexi here yay she's gonna be with us for her spring break we're gonna go to California and there's babe he's driving with the muscles hi right did you see that I was like our muscles so two more things I want to share with you guys from Target that I don't think I've talked about. The This bathing suit I did talk about last week because Chris and I were at Target and I tried this bathing suit on and I absolutely loved it. And a couple of you who are larger chested also told me that you love the shade and shoreline from Target and that they go on sale quite often. Um, I'm in a 36 double D and then the bottoms I got in a medium. They do fit really well. And the bottoms, however, are extra cheeky and I didn't realize that. Um, these specific ones are lowest coverage, high waist, and extra cheeky. I freaking love them. I think they're super cute on and really flattering, actually, because of the high-waisted band. Um, not appropriate for wearing around the kids, however, so I most likely will not wear these bottoms when we're at the beach with the kids for a spring break. So I will wear these. Now, these seem like they would be less coverage, but they're actually not. And because of this little inseam, um, this little scrunching detail on the butt, it makes your butt look so good. And because it has this little ruffled detail on the edges, um, it does not squeeze in any chub on the sides. So it looks so smooth and nice. Um, I did get it in a medium, but honestly, I probably would have gone with a large if they had the black in the large, because I tried the white ones on in a large and I liked how they fit a little bit more, but honestly, if I end up losing like about five more pounds, these medium ones will be perfect. So that's why I ended up keeping them. Um, but I do plan to wear these together. And these black ones are just so universal. I can wear them with the white bathing suit top I got as well from Target, which I will link down below. But I just had to share this with you guys because I just love this bathing suit. And I have a feeling it's going to be popular just because of um, the support and coverage it gives. Okay, these shoes. Oh my goodness. 
Now they come in a leopard, a gray, and a blush color. I also have the gray pair, and then these were on sale last week, and so I ended up getting a secondary pair because of how extremely comfortable these are. They literally feel like slippers. They have kind of like a foam bottom that molds to your feet, and you don't have to work them in. The cushion on the outside here does not rub at the back of your sole so that it's super comfortable. Um, they are true to size. I am usually an eight and a half to nine. I believe these don't come in half sizes, so I ended up getting a nine. I also went a half size, like, but I'm usually eight and a half or nine, and I went the nine route because I like to wear little socks with these kind of shoes as well and not just barefoot. So I wanted to have a little more room for those, but um, definitely suggest these. They are insanely comfortable. I love the camo print. I love the leopard. I don't have the leopard currently, but I would totally buy it. And I also own the gray pair, which I've worn a few times already and absolutely love. So definitely suggest those. Also, Last year, I told you guys that I really, really love the um, Neutrogena spray, like sheer mist spray, um, SPF. So CVS has a less expensive alternative. It's called their sheer mist spray. I got the 70 because I'm so pale that when we go out in the sun, I need a lot of protection. Um, so yeah, this is compared to the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. Very similar. I mean, it doesn't have the spray nozzle for... Um, for easy access to your back. But since Chris and the kids are going to be there, someone can spray my back pretty easily. So I wasn't that concerned about it. It is the same ounces, same amount of ounces. And it was at least $4 cheaper than the Neutrogena. So that's why I ended up getting this one. And so far, so good. I feel like the mist is very sheer and easy to use. Doesn't have like a weird spray nozzle. Um, I still prefer the Neutrogena, but you know, when you're on a budget and you don't want to have to spend a crazy amount on sunscreen, this seems to be a good alternative. So I thought I would mention that too. I'm going to start packing for our California trip. And then next week's vlog, I will show you everything I packed. And I will also share our um, fun time in San Diego. We're going to be in the San Diego, La Jolla area, as well as um, around Coronado for one of the days. And it's Chris's birthday next week. So lots of fun things to share with you next week. And I'll see you then. Love you guys.